Hey, love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time coming to my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my grown extended family, just thank you for doing the light work that you're doing, allowing yourself to expand your mind towards things that we truly need to know to get towards our path and just going towards the flow and going with the flow and just acknowledging the things that, you know, that been held in the darkness for, long, for a long time and finally coming to light. And with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please like and subscribe. Go ahead and hit that notification bell down there at the bottom so you know when I'm about to upload my next videos. If you feel like you are comfortable enough, please go ahead and drop me a line or two. I love to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Or even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video. Or you're just opening up telling me about your empathic gift and how it's you know, impacted your life and heading you towards a positive direction. If you feel like the video has been very informative to you or just gave you good vibes that you'd love to share with other people, please go ahead and do so. And while you're at it, give me a thumbs up, like, and even share on your social media favorites. And thank you so much for stopping by the channel and showing love and support. And I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. And the music that I'm listening to today, y'all know I love Reiki music. Um, it's called Reiki Music with Tibetan with Tibetan singing bowls every three minutes, healing music, meditation music, uh, 32209 R. And I will paste, uh, place that link in the description box below if you would like to meditate to that. And today my video is about Twin Flame 101. Empaths, it takes your mistakes to know that you are blessed. It truly does. You know, and it's just a lot of times when we're like stuck in our feelings and we're going through so much hell and high water and, you know, and it just seems like the days are never going to end when it comes to the rain coming in your life. But you have to really look at it and step back. That's why it's just I love making my videos because there's times that I've been in that route, you know, that grit regret whatever you want to call it to where you feel like you know when is this hell gonna end when am i gonna wake up from this nightmare but we go through things for a reason and it's just like you have to really look and just say that you know yeah i might have gone through this hell but what it what it what did i get out of this situation you know what did it make me look did it make me look at things totally different and it makes me think about um I don't know if you ever heard of this movie called Crash, and it it has a lot of stuff in there that is like jaw dropping. It, it it covers a lot of things that we constantly deal with every day. You know, racism. You know, things that you know people look at different. You know, take things for granted, and a lot of things that we all go through. You know, I'm. I'm not no perfect person, neither is nobody else, you know, but we always go through things to have to get through them, and we have to be able to know that we truly are blessed, because it, it could be a day where you can go through something, and life is taken away from you, but it didn't, you know, I remember I was upset about um, my car crash that I had a few weeks ago, and I was really truly pissed when this woman hit my car, but then I was just like, you know what, it could have been a lot worse, because it was like, all the things that I was going through and manifesting so much negativity in my life, I ended up being the one being blamed for the car crash, and I wasn't the one on the cell phone and running into the street without paying attention, but it was just all that negativity I brought into my life because I was so pissed about all the stuff that I was going through, all the stuff that I felt like I shouldn't have to go through, but I'm going through it anyway. And me not being focused on, you know, I'm, I'm going through so much negativity and paying attention to that negative stuff. I wasn't even paying attention to this woman running right, about to run right smack dead into my car. So neither one of us were paying attention. But then I had to look at it and say, you know what, after all that, even though I was mad about the whole situation, I said, you know what, it could have been far worse. You know, my car wasn't really damaged, her car wasn't really damaged, and we were both able to walk away. You know, even though it was just like a little bit of soreness from that situation, from, you know, running your body over to the next of the door or whatever, you know, I had to really look at it like, damn, you know, I could have lost my life. She could have came T-boned my car, and, you know, my daughter could have been in that car. You know, she could have had a child in that car. She could have had a passenger in that car. Could have been very well hurt or fatally injured. But we all had to be 
both blessed for that, that we were able to walk away, even though I was upset because the fact is, you know, I wasn't running out in the street and not paying attention to where I was going, you know, but, you know, things happen for a reason. You know, I might be, you know, because I've been through car crashes before where, you know, people have, like, got away with it. And I got blamed for the shortcomings because of the situation. Because I've noticed that any car crash I've been in, I've been held responsible for it. And nobody's never been, you know, actually came forward to actually say, you know, yeah, I did this. Or, yeah, this happened unless it was, like, caught up in a lie. And then they finally figured out, you know, I wasn't the person that did all that. But still, nothing was never acknowledged after all that. But I know there was a reason why I had to go through these things, you know, because it was just like I was telling y'all about this drunk driver that hit me back in 2005, almost 13, yeah, 13 years ago. And I was so mad, but at that time, I was so worried about this man because the guy told me he was really badly hurt. You know, he was he was hurt badly. And um, I was more worried about him because he was like, this guy hit you. <laughs> and you're more worried about him. I'm like, I'm fine. You know, yeah, I might be stuck in this car and pinned into this car. But when somebody tells me somebody else is hurt, regardless, you know, um, this man was drunk driving. He didn't have his lights on. But I felt really bad for him, even though he wanted to put me on a blame. But if I really look at it like, you know, even though I was blamed for that situation, look at the brightness out of that situation you stopped his car from going over the cliff and being able to kill more people because if he would went over that cliff that was like the main highway where he hit me at I stopped his car from going over there so then I was just like you know what even though the truth came out at the end I just saved a lot of lives even though my life I put my life in in you know smack dead into the middle of this and even though the universe had my my back on that because it's just the impact of my car if you would have seen the car that I was in you would have never known you, you would have looked at that car with all the blood and everything on it that there was no way I could have walked away from that but they were like you know there must be angels looking out for this woman because all she did is have a crushed side you know even though that was a lot of pain but it was just like it could have been far worse than that but I knew that there was uh, there was a deeper meaning for that. So you have to really look at the things that you're going through and know that, you know, even though you might be going through hell and high water and stuff like that, you have to know that you are blessed because it can be far a lot worse, you know, far more worse than it, it than your situation is right now. And there's always somebody going through way far worse than what you might be going through because we tend to take things for granted that might be there for our usage or whatever it's just like when we're sitting up in the house and we're wasting electricity you know we might be on a computer all day or might be on our cell phones all day or we got kids that's playing games and next thing you know the power don't went out we don't sit up here and use this electricity for so long that when actually when the power goes out, you are going to be wishing about every little thing that you use that electricity for. Like, Dad, I could have been watching TV or, oh my gosh, my favorite show is coming on. or Oh, I, could, I had to do this and this and that. But then, you know what? It's far more worse, far worse for other people like in different states that are going through these hurricanes that where they don't have homes. They don't have power. They don't have food to eat open up a refrigerator and say they can complain about oh I don't feel like eating this so please pay attention to the things that you're going through knowing that you have to go through them for a reason and knowing that you're blessed it could be far worse than what you're going through I don't understand your situation I don't know your situation but that's when it comes time for you to you know just reflect on self and look at the things that you're going through and knowing it could be far more worse than what you're you know than you could be experiencing and knowing that you're blessed and know that there's things always coming better in your path. So I hope you're able to resonate with the content of this video. You know, I hope you send out as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can. And know that you are blessed, highly favored, and truly loved. And know that there is, there is somebody always out there praying for your better days. And I'm sending the most uplifting, loving vibes and infinite abundance your way. And uplifting and healing vibes as you truly need it. And like and subscribe, even hit that notification bell so you know when I'm about to upload my next video. Drop me a line. I love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Or even if it's about positive feedback, the content of my video. Or you just open up, tell me about your impact, the gift, and how it's impacted your life and heading you towards a positive direction. And also know 
that, you know, that better things are coming your way. Remember that. Better things are coming your way. So, you know, give me a thumbs up, like, maybe share on your social media favors. I don't know why I said that, but there was a reason why I said that. Because I guess somebody's going through something. But, you know, know that better things are coming your way. And blessings are coming. So, I will see y'all later. And I hope y'all have a blessed weekend. And, you know, get turned up. Or even just relax and just kick your shoes off. And have a good time, you know. Better days are coming. Life's too short to be unhappy. And I will see you on my next video. Peace. And be wild.